Breaking news, the verdict is in. Ghislaine Maxwell, the former girlfriend and associate of Jeffrey Epstein, is found guilty on sex trafficking charges. Hello again, I'm Dana Tyler. The British socialite heard the verdict in federal court late this afternoon. She was found guilty of luring teenage girls to be abused by Epstein. CBS 2's Lisa Rosner is live outside the federal courthouse in Lower Manhattan tonight with more. Lisa? Well, Dana Maxwell did not cry, but she was stoic as these counts were read. This ends five days of deliberations. Maxwell was found guilty on five counts, including conspiracy to entice an individual under the age of 17, transportation of an individual under the age of 17, and sex trafficking. She was found not guilty on enticement of an individual under the age of 17. Throughout the trial, 60-year-old Ghislaine Maxwell was at times cheerful when interacting with lawyers and family members like her siblings. She actively passed notes with her attorneys and was seemingly emotional at one point. She did not take the stand in her own defense, telling the judge, the government has not proven its case beyond a reasonable doubt, so there is no reason for me to testify. Prosecutors argued Maxwell was Jeffrey Epstein's right hand, the lady of the house, recruiting and grooming teenagers, some as young as 14 and often from broken homes to give Jeffrey Epstein massages for money that they allege turned into sexual abuse, sometimes with Maxwell joining in. That abuse, they say, took place from 1994 to 2004 at a New York mansion, a Florida estate, a New Mexico ranch, and the U.S. Virgin Islands, with age-appropriate Maxwell present at times, they say, to help normalize Epstein's behavior. The defense argued Maxwell is not Jeffrey Epstein and that investigators are seeking a scapegoat in his absence, claiming the four women who testified about abuse had flawed memories manipulated decades later by lawyers representing them as they sought millions of dollars in payouts from a special fund set up after Epstein's suicide to compensate victims. The defense said she's being tried here for being with Jeffrey Epstein. Maybe that's the biggest mistake of her life, but it's not a crime. Prosecutors called the defense's claim that Maxwell didn't know about abuse that occurred a laughable argument, saying the women put themselves through the hell of testifying. They did it for justice. The U.S. attorney had this to say about Maxwell being found guilty on five of six counts. The road to justice has been far too long. But today, justice has been done. I want to commend the bravery of the girls, now grown women who stepped out of the shadows and into the courtroom. Their courage and willingness to face their abuser made today's result and this case possible. And an attorney for an Epstein sex abuse survivor referred to as Jane released a statement saying in part, the verdict screams loud and clear, if you make it easier for another to sexually abuse children, you too will be held accountable for your role in that abuse. Maxwell faces more than 60 years in jail. There will be another trial, a separate trial for two counts of perjury. We're live in Lower Manhattan. Lisa Rosner, CBS 2 News. Lisa, thank you.